Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we need to touch on comments, and this is something that's relatively um, very, well, minor, not very difficult, and something that you see in the code, and it's important that I actually go over this with you if you're actually going to learn how to, to program and, and start contributing to other people's stuff. And that is commenting. So what is comments used for in programming? And it's used for documentation. It's, it's for telling other developers and yourself three months down the road when you're looking at the code again, what each section is responsible for. And in addition to that, we're going to get into more complex stuff like functions and classes and uh, future videos. And, and a lot of those functions and things within Python need to be documented so that, um, you know, it's just it's clear what type of data needs to be passed into the functions, whether it's a number or a string uh, and things like that. So all of that stuff is what Python comments are used for. And there's two ways to do co comments in Python. The most common way is to use the pound symbol. So anything inside this pound symbol is just a, this is a, this is a personal comment. And you can have, if you need to do in the next line, next line. So what this does is Python completely ignores this. As soon as it gets to the, the pound sign, you don't need two, some people do two, some people do three, like or, or three or four. It depends, um, just however you like to style it, but you just need one pound, and then anything after that is just ignored. So that is the one and uh, the most primary way of doing Python comments. The other is called the multi-line comment. So if you didn't want to have to do a pound sign for each, each new line, if you had like a paragraph of comments that you have to do, that's when you would do the, the triple quote. And then anything, anything inside here is ignored by Python. So those, those are multi-line. So if you had a big paragraph that you needed to display, then all of this would be ignored. So when we run this, Python is just going to, oh, we're still in this uh, infinite loop, by the way, um, from my last video. All right, guys, so that's it. That's comments in Python. Thanks for watching, and have a good day, and bye. Hey guys, so a lot of you ask me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.